welcome back to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. Thank you for tuning in, watching, or listening, doing it however you're doing it, where you're doing it, and as always, this show is brought to you by you. Are the you ready patrons. for this? Am I ready for this? Uh, bad, really bad, quick, bad, actually, bad, bad, before bad. we thank all of you guys, uh, two things to say. One, okay. if you are a patron, you are now able to vote for the reward the proxy rewards that we're going to be giving out each month so if you want to have a say in that please feel free to sign up democracy uh, patreon.com slash it resolves the link Beautiful. is down in the description Nothing more patriotic i love it uh second uh we're probably going to duplicate some thank yous here but yeah. uh that's just because of the whole tier change thing we're kind of getting some people after the fact so yeah sorry about that but not really because we just we're like just, thanking we're you guys thank you you guys so are awesome get so. double ready yeah get double ready all right are you are you ready uh i'm super ready you're super ready yeah. okay liam the keen kai the thirsty <laughs> oh god andrew the earnest Teresa, the hankering <laughs> pandemonium <laughs> the binding alex the yearning duke dang the uh, <laughs> i just wanted to say that. duke dang duke dang <laughs> the acquisitive guillermo the antsy we definitely thanked him twice uh, henry the avid phoenix the breathless Casca, the covetous <laughs> brit desiring danny who's dying too and then that's it <laughs> <laughs> julio <laughs> the fervent Devin, who's gung ho. <laughs> Tony, the heated. Matt, who's just hot. Teague, who's rearing to go. <laughs> what? Yep. Logan, the restive. Grim, the self-starting. Dark brother, the solicitous. Raul, the hemiant. Carrie, the voracious. Adrian, the warm-blooded. <laughs> Mikey, the wishful. Nonato, the zealous. <laughs> Matthew. How many more do you have? <laughs> We're out two. Of the impatient. And Chris. The thirsty. Again. We circle back. All right. The, Guys. Uh, what was the Papa word? What I have think? no idea. It was eager. Eager. Oh, that's good. We oh. had a hot to trot, <laughs> rear and to go. Ready and willing. That's, a lot of these just sounded real sexual. I was going to say awkward. Sexual it is. Sexual kids. it is, guys. Um, thank you to all of you patrons, though. We really do appreciate all the support. You guys have been phenomenal recently. Yeah, absolutely. Um, lots of really awesome support. We really appreciate a lot of you guys have signed up for that $8 yeah. here. I hope uh, if you are interested in it, you'll at least check it out. We certainly Three appreciate it. Three whole proxies? There. Oh, goodness. What? Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Get in also, there. quick plug. Uh -huh. uh, our website is down in the description. We kind of recently... Mm somewhat under the radar released a, a new website hey, we have a website um we probably should do a dedicated thing about that but this anyway is, it was all and this is a website this is it was all's website yeah uh, homestar runner anybody anyway you know go check is, out our, you, Kev? i know what that is yeah oh well anyway for uh, those of you who are over 30 you'll know what that is <laughs> i guess yeah and you those of you that know what it is should go check out our website um <laughs> Anyway, yeah, please do check it out. We really do appreciate it. Uh, uh, yeah, what's we on there? What can it. you find on there, Kev? What are uh, some of the things? Lots of stuff. So okay. we're starting back with uh, just like general articles. We've got Ooh. three or four categories right now that we're kind of jumping into. Uh, so the plan is to hopefully be able to get you some content oh. that way as well as through That's our videos. Saucy. That's um, exciting. The entire gallery of our proxies that we have created so far. <gasps> Uh, is available there as well. Oh, that's cool. Uh, so you can look through all of them. They're separated by their themes. They're dark frame, frameless, and unstable frame. Oh, um, hot. So you can like check it. all that stuff out. You can actually just contact us very easily through the website right now mm -hmm. as well. Uh, and then we do yeah. have some some ideas for the future that we, we'd like to play with. Mm. Uh, potentially... This is a long way down the road, but I'm going to go ahead and spoil this okay. a little bit. We'd probably, it's not really been talked about, but it's something we've kind of hinted at every once in a while okay. is like some kind of online merch store. If we can get that. Oh, that, um, that's the pipe dream, the pipe dream. Uh, hey, well, but thanks to the support yeah. from you guys, we've actually been able to do a lot say, more than we facts. thought we would. Big so, facts, yeah. um, that might be something we look to in the future. That's definitely something we'd love to do. So hopefully we can for sure. If you um, want funny magic merch, maybe stay tuned. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but, okay, so this episode, uh, we are going to do our random car of the day, but we are also going to be talking about the banned and restricted stuff. 
Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. that is really your bag more than my bag on this episode. Oh, yeah. Um, I get excited. We also have a couple of new products that were spoiled on the 10th of October. Uh, And then we're also going to talk about Stoneforge Mystic and its effect on modern so far. Uh, Is it taking over? Is it not taking over? That kind of thing. So what's it doing? Where's it Where's it going? Who's it hanging out with? What's she doing over there? girl with your artifacts and, and stuff where do you where'd you get that sword <laughs> <laughs> Did you pull it from your library we, we, we turn into like the worst part of adam sam like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right <laughs> random car of the day time in three two one it's loading it's loading it's loading so good zero it's loading so good oh okay puppeteer uh this is a one two creature it's a wizard Four, hmm. two, and a blue. Uh, you can pay a blue, tap it, and then tap or untap target creature. Um, I think it's fine for like limited, right? It's not amazing. Uh, it's it's a tapper, which is good. yeah. So tappers um, are. I mean, they're these are funny cards. Their power kind of scales pretty well for a creature. Yeah, like for for a utility <clears throat> creature in limited, yeah. I'll say because this isn't a guy that you'll use. Uh, anywhere to else. win the game necessarily <laughs> but in it, you see it mostly in white and blue yeah um really white is the like staple tappers i suppose in more recent years definitely yeah um yeah you get stuff like i forget what it is but there's i think there's one in just about every modern master set yeah and there's usually one yeah. there's like a more expensive version a lot of the time in mm-hmm. standard sets and things like that and the the mm-hmm. thing about them is they get better uh depending on what creatures your opponents have because it kind of right. the value is in what you're tapping down right um and so if they have a big bomb that you're able to tap down then it's all of a sudden a really good card mm-hmm. um but they're never really like terrible and limited no they're not and um, that's the thing uh what you want to see generally is like less than three for sure yeah uh yeah it's definitely but, a little expensive for a tapper but like even so i think the the ability is good enough yeah uh, definitely you, you get it just about always absolutely uh, having two of these on board during the later stages of a limited match just feels really good yeah um, definitely would agree i mean even one but especially yeah uh, well and it also gives you the ability like uh in this case where it can also untap a creature mm-hmm. uh it gives you a little bit more flexibility in combat as well no it's not it's True. not like a combat trick because obviously it's an onboard thing like your opponent knows about it Right. um granted that doesn't mean they won't forget about it which does happen but sure. um this does give you a little bit of flexibility to still be able to swing in with your big bomb mm-hmm. and then if you can leave up that one blue um maybe untap that creature during your opponent's combat you know be able to block with it do stuff like that mm-hmm. so um it's kind of nice true. for that uh yeah. and i think that i won't say some completely justifies the three mana but i think that makes it a little better than your your average just i only tap stuff down that is true um, the untap is that's a, kind is an of extra nice. wrinkle um yeah but it's again good. it's not like it's a surprise by any means it also so. gets around like frost frost effects frost breath stuff yes it does that's nice. kind of nice um uh, frost links uh yeah. literally frost breath all that kind of stuff right. so um cool that's not i mean for i like limited, it it's a good card i like those cards yeah, yeah i think they're good um all right what order do you want to go through all this in um do so you want to do the new stuff like real quick yeah let's talk about the products then ban stuff and then okay Stoneforge. we'll do the quickest thing first the mystery booster uh was announced the convention edition uh Ooh. yeah they literally just posted an article with this picture and then said more info to come at magic fest richmond and, and that was like, it that's it uh so we have no idea what this is Uh, none uh there's been speculation that it's gonna have like standard and modern cards uh most all reprint stuff cool you know whatever it's just for the convention so i yeah i'm it's not a whole big thing you are probably not missing out don't feel yeah i'm sure it's not a huge deal um the other thing that we did get uh same day in fact october 10th was unsanctioned the fourth installment in unset uh history uh this one's a little bit different though normally they're booster boxes so we get a full-on set and it's all new cards and we get packs of all these cards this one's a little different we've got five 30 card decks Hmm. uh they are all silver bordered they're all gonna be silly just like the unsets usually are uh but there's not all new cards so there are 60 new cards Uh but there's also going to be some reprints from previous unsets and stuff like that the thing that everybody cares about are the lands uh let's okay. be honest yep um Fair. that's the value of these sets Definitely. these are very very fun by the way i should mention uh all of the unsets 
have always been fun definitely and so it's like if you can't get your hands on it play a game with it you don't i mean this is a little bit easier than a booster box uh because you know you get the decks and that's it you don't have to keep reinvesting in a lot of boxes but um this is kind of a cool little product so they are very fun definitely play them uh the lands are really where the value is at usually uh they do plan they're they're teasing at least that so they're gonna have really nice lands in this one as well yep um included in the unsectioned unsanctioned box excuse me uh, five 30 card decks, two six sided dice, 10 double sided tokens, 10 full art basic lands, five regular and five premium. So we actually get two different lands there. Mm. Uh, and then the reusable box, which I love that they always just put, Hey, you can reuse this cardboard box. They put that on anything. That That's the thing. It's just like, yeah, yeah it's kind of silly. Um, Definitely. but the art looks cool. It looks really fun. And, uh, hopefully we can get our hands on it and play with it as well. Oh, so yeah. Those are the new announcements. Uh, nothing crazy, but just thought we'd uh, mention those there. So, yeah. you want to move to banned and restricted? Uh, I do. There's really... <clears throat> okay. We'll just kind of edge around it a little bit. Yeah. Um, so, originally, this was slotted for... Forgive me if I'm... November 18th. Uh, the ne the next right uh, October seventh was the last, and there was right. no changes. Just to clarify, no changes in any formats. Um, and then the next one was scheduled for November eighteenth. That yeah. changed, however, it is being moved up to October twenty first. So it's really right around the corner. Yeah. Um, and they stated, <clears throat> after further reflection on the very busy competitive gaming schedule and discussion on the implementation windows with our digital teams, we are shifting the next announcement. To October 21st, blah, blah, blah. A um, few key words there, though. Competitive gaming schedule and digital team to me <sighs> kind of stick out. Yeah. Um, we all know the Mythic Championship was going on, is going on, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the Magic Arena is taking off and doing, yep. doing very well. Like, it's yeah. a it's a growing platform. Um, I it think is. a lot of complaints have kind of dwindled. Mm -hmm. um, it's just a, it's a cool way to play Magic. It's just so you know. accessible for yeah. everybody. And Definitely. that's the that's the great thing about it. It's neat. Yeah. Um with Arena, however, though, there is only uh for now at least, only standard and limited stuff. Yeah. They're there. doing like a extended standard thing now. Yes, but mm, Yeah. I know. Right. And Brawl and yeah, well, Brawl doesn't count. <laughs> brawl has never counted. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So with those being the really the only formats to play, uh, a lot of focus goes to uh, standard cards nowadays, as it should. Sure. Um, but for the competitive team, especially in research and development, all that. Um, and a few, in my opinion, problems have come up. Oh. That we can talk about. Do tell. A few talking points to okay. kind of questions to, to post to you, Kev. Um, so there is essentially especially on, on arena i can't speak to paper magic i haven't been in a card store in, in too long but in a while <clears> i haven't <throat> sat down to play magic but in paper in uh, arena magic that is there is really one flavor deck that's kind of taking over and that's the field of the dead have you heard of yes. the field of the um, dead kevin yes i have has scape shift rotated out yet <laughs> it hasn't uh, yet no right but it doesn't i'm gonna be frank it's not just about scape shift anymore no to me it's field of the dead no no this i know like, but that was like the backbone of the original deck yes that do you I mean, see what i'm saying it, yes that's true but uh because it was originally a combo deck but yeah now it's not sorry no. i'm getting you off topic no you're, i mean you're fine that, i mean that was its <laughs> win com well it's engine before right yeah, yeah, yeah. uh <clears throat> excuse me now it uses a car called golas i mean yeah. You know of him. You yeah. know him. You love him. Uh, a card that I had originally like written off as being a commander card. Just yeah. kind of like fruity and fun. Yeah. Like, get any land. All yeah. Right, that's cool. Uh, well, it turns out. Um, <laughs> field of the And this, by the way, like it seems a little silly to me to think that they didn't expect an interaction like this to yeah. happen. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, just, I don't know that they expected it to be. <sighs> that's being too nice to wizards. I don't know what they were thinking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Like, the deck just works in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And how it's been put together, uh, it's a very, very, like, safe deck to play. There's a lot of different ways to stabilize with the deck, um, depending on what colors you're in. Now, normally we see, like, a Bant kind of brew with this yes. sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but there's, there have been some uh, that's more uh, Esper, mm -hmm. like Esper Fields. Um, now it is a little bit slower, but it... it it's got a little bit more longevity, gains you life here and there, blah, blah, blah. But Bant right. is really the one we're talking about. 
Um, and there's not necessarily an agreed upon, this is the best list. And this is interesting to point out. Um, it's basically you slap in Field of the Dead, go less a few of the other like engine cards, mm. uh, the little monkey dude that finds your lands, the growth spiral, obviously. <laughs> uh, and then other, just basically whatever else yeah. you feel like. But yeah. you only need a small package of cards to make it really work. So my question uh, as this moves up, this to me is the only reason to move a ban up. And it's kind of, it's the, this is the rumbling in the community. This isn't a unique thought yeah. that it resolves has come up with here. <clears throat> Don't it, tell everybody. Well, it's just kind of obvious. <laughs> yeah. If, you, if you're playing Arena Magic right now, it yeah, just kind of makes yeah. sense. But um, to me, there's there's two like schools of thought. Uh, and you tell me where you think. Okay. This, this kind of lands. You can ban Field of the Dead. Okay. Which seems to make sense. You know, that's the card that wins you the game, basically. Yeah. Make a yeah, bunch yeah. of tokens, proc a bunch of stuff, and, and go crazy. Yep. Uh, or you can ban some of the engine cards. You get us out of there. Mm. Now, I don't think that that's a better choice, but in the past, we've seen cards from Bridgevine, for instance, in Modern. Yeah. The cards that got banned aren't like the namesake the wind yeah it's usually the ones that help you get there it's the engine so it yeah i mean uh, that's an interesting question honestly what makes Um, more sense do you think well it depends what their goal is if their goal is to completely like make the deck unplayable field of the dead is the obvious choice right Mm -hmm. because that is the deck um but if you just want to kind of neuter it and still make it playable yeah you take out golos i i assume um You can't take out the little zero three grazer. That's just a silly. No. Uh, uh, please ban that. I would love that. That's, that would be like the next attune with Aether where they ban like the most, <laughs> like ridiculous card. It's yeah. I, I mean, mean attune with Aether was good, and I I understand, but like this, this dude's not amazing. No, <laughs> Let's just go ahead and say that seems to me like the silliest. Why don't you just ban the other card? Yeah, kind of that's thing. exactly. You know what it, I mean? But, um, that's what you're saying. But the problem with like. So there's problems either way, as always, but right. you either completely take the deck out, in which case you're probably going to piss some people off. I like, mean, you, uh, you're going to do it regardless, know. but I'm yeah. just saying that would probably be the most like argumentative point would be to be like, OK, no more Field of the Dead. And all right. of a sudden now you just neutered the entire like literally standards whole shift has to move again because sure. now a deck is completely unplayable. Yeah. Um, or uh and again that's probably going to piss a lot of people off or you ban the golos which is kind of a backbone card of that but is also just kind of a fun card sure on its own like i know it doesn't see any competitive play anywhere else that i know of at least uh when it comes to standard at least yeah this is really the only deck that it works Um, in but it's also just a fun card to like brew with and stuff like that and i feel like that's kind of a hit to that and like it's probably not going to be as bothersome as straight up banning field of the dead but like sure you know it's just one of those things that like here's this really fun card but because it goes in this really good it's sort of like getting blamed for something when you didn't mean to be a part of it you know what i mean like well sure yeah, yeah you know what i'm saying like i mean obviously we're talking about cards here but i'm just saying like no i know what you're saying um uh, you know like it gets banned and then nobody can play with just a very fun card anymore whereas right. field of the dead is really the problem and so it's like what i, I don't know the answer my sure. my assumption would be just ban field of the dead to be honest yeah, that makes the most um, sense. Um, just to like get it out of the format. Yeah, like Scape Shift is rotating out. Uh, mm-hmm. It's had its day. Let's get rid of it. Like <laughs> I'm fine with that. Believe um, you me. I mean, I really like Field of the Dead. I think it's a really cool utility land. But like, well, it's not even like. I I think it it just goes a little bit beyond utility. Well, it does mm-hmm. now because right. of all these other enablers. So it's like you know. That I I would assume they would just ban Field of the Dead, but again yeah. I could be wrong. Like I, they could easily just ban Golas. I don't know. Um, I don't know either. Uh, I also am a little skeptical that they'll ban anything. Really? I'm gonna bring a counterpoint to all this. Um. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> no, just kidding. I could. I very well might be. No. The only reason I say that though is actually. Um. I was thinking about it earlier today. Uh-huh. Like, I'm thinking in recent years that i can remember that they've like moved up a ban uh-huh. like schedule they've moved up a ban schedule they haven't that i realized in the last few years i couldn't think of any that they just moved up a date for uh-huh. a ban list um and so my thought process is yes they're looking at some stuff mm-hmm. 
but it's clearly not an emergency. Otherwise, they would have just right. emergency banned right. it. Right. Um, yeah, that is worth noting. And when does rotation happen? The next set dropping. Is it the next set right? dropping? Is I it thought not? it was like, I don't know. We should have known this. Um, but regardless, I'm wondering if like they're just waiting for some things to rotate out and then maybe seeing how things go too. I believe but... this is, it's moved up ahead of a tournament. I'm oh uh, really fairly certain. I'm not. Don't hold me to that. Yeah, I'm not 100 yeah. percent now. I don't know. I just there's a possibility they're just. No, I mean that is a, stuff. that is a good point. They can just emergency ban it. They can just fix it. Like if, if that was to. the problem, they could have done that. Yeah. Um and. I don't know if they were going to ban stuff. They had like the perfect opportunity when they banned and unbanned yeah. like a million things at once. What's one more? Well, so <laughs> the only, the next big tournament to happen is, uh, that's obviously not the uh, Mythic Championship. Yeah. yeah um, yeah. which is happening the 18th through the 20th, which yes. this ban wouldn't affect. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah. But Magic Fest Phoenix happens the 25th through the 27th. Okay. So that would be where it would. Right. It is yeah. ahead of that. Um, it's ahead of a few in November. It, so we get like a big block of Magic Fests. I say big. There's two happening mm -hmm. in November. Um, that this band that the excuse me the previous date of November seventh would yeah. not have touched. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the first through the third, you have Lyon and Nagoya, I guess, in Japan. Yeah. Um, that might not, not even be in Japan. That was just a <laughs> blind assumption. <laughs> How dare you? Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> glossing over that. Um, so. This looks like there's some major tournaments that this kind of just shifts up. Yeah. Um, but that still doesn't change the fact that they could have just fixed it now. That's right? my thing. They like, might they just have be, the option. They might be waiting for more info, honestly. So it they could be. We'll yeah. get a bunch of data from the arena championship. Yeah. If it turns out that Field of the Damned is just countered by something, yeah. Or Field of the Dead, not Damned. Did I say Damned? Yeah. You I did. have had that in my head. Just the word all night. Damned. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> But Field of the Dead, excuse me. Yeah, Field of the Dam just stuck out to me. I'm so confused. Anyway, go ahead. I don't know. That's probably something. <laughs> oh, dude, that's another tertiary Google search. But uh, it could be that Field of the Dead just doesn't perform well throughout the championship, maybe. <laughs> could be. No, I'm sorry. I made a dirty joke in my head when you said that. Wow. <laughs> They have pills for that. Like, <laughs> there he is. Uh, but just to be, I mean, they could just be waiting. Yeah. It could yeah, be like, this might be a problem. Let's see how big the fire gets. Yeah. Really. But I don't. I it's don't... just like interesting that they would move up the date. Because yeah. uh, why, if if it was that big of a problem, they could have not touched yeah. the date and just emergency banned after this tournament, yeah. too. Yeah, and public, like, or uh, publicly as well. Yeah. You're, uh, you're absolutely I mean, right. There's like the so point. many options of like, they didn't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. So is this just like a call, a schedule call? Maybe they just had more time at this point or something, you know, like, Perhaps. I, yeah, I yeah. don't know. Um, I, I just, you know, there's, there's the option of, they don't do anything, uh, always ever present. We'll True. Um, um, it is a, I will, it's a really fun deck to play, man. I haven't uh, played it. Honestly, Gullus um, Gates is cool. It's really cool. I've drafted a bit of throne, but I haven't done a lot in the world of construction. Like standard. Yeah um uh gold skates is neat because i mean field of the so field of the dam gets turned on after so seven lands did i say damned again you did <laughs> Woo! Uh, oh i love it uh, anyway yeah um field of dam that damn field that uh, damn field of the damn dead <laughs> <laughs> it gets turned on after you have seven unique lands yeah so it works really well in gates oh gosh um, yes you know you get a few gates get some of the scry lands out there and you know, yeah you're good to wham, go bam, thank you ma'am Thank you, damned. Um, <laughs> that damned bam. That dead damned damn man. <laughs> man. Uh, yeah. And that little gullus dude just helps you. Yeah. He just yeah. helps you out. He's just a cool card. I like him. Um, I hate that he's given us such a sick, sickly standard. Yeah. I mean, that's annoying, but. As the, I mean, I feel like we always have to whop a boogeyman. There's always something. Like, you know. There, the reality is there's always going to be. Even if people don't recognize what deck it is, there will always be a deck that the gives you the highest to the percentage to win. I mean, yeah. like that's just yeah. a fact. There will always be a deck like that. Sure. It just happens that this one's very recognizable, <laughs> and so yeah. people are playing it. You know. Yeah. Well, um, and, yeah, and they're playing it a lot. That's. I mean, that needs to be that's said the too. Problem. It, there's a yeah. high saturation of field decks. Exactly, out there. and that's the problem. And sure. if they do decide to ban something, um, I'll be interested to see. 
which they decide to ban. Well, that's I do think it's between those two, though. Sure. I mm-hmm. don't think there's any other options. And in no, no other formats, there would be any reason to ban anything. Unless Stoneforge so. is taking over. Hey! Oh, my... oh hey, Kevin. <laughs> Look at that. No, we'll talk about that in a second. But is there... Is that... There's really nothing else to say. My, okay. luke, my lukewarm take is that they they ban Field of the Dead, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right. <laughs> I feel good about that. Good. Um, okay, well, that's it for Banned and Restricted. Let's go to Stoneforge. Field, Field of the Dam, by the way, was a really bad uh, zombie survivor flick. Oh, good. Made in 2011. I'm so glad that you found that. I don't know why it's sticking out in my head so much. <laughs> Proceed. <laughs> All right, so uh, as most of you guys know, especially you modern players, uh, Stoneforge was recently unbanned. Uh, It had never had a time in modern. It was preemptively banned. Never Uh, saw the the light of modern. Solely because of uh, Callblade decks, which took over standard for a while, and so they kind of decided, hey, we don't want that crap. We gonna ban it. And so they did. Fair points, fair points, fair points. And the assumption for the longest time was it would take over. Uh, that was the issue. It's a two drop that pulls equipments and makes them real easy to play. Oh, yes. um, is that too good for modern? And I think we have the answer to that question, which, in my opinion, dun dun dun, is no. Um, cool. I don't think it's too powerful. Okay. Uh, I'll just go ahead and say that. That does not mean, as we'll see, uh-huh. it is not popular. Sure. Uh, obviously, because it was just recently unbanned, uh, it's getting a lot more exposure than it probably will settle down to at some point. Yeah. Um, but uh, it is still getting played a good bit. Uh, so it's the second most played creature in modern okay. right now. Wow. Um, the first is Snapcaster Mage. Uh, All right. And big shock. Big shock. Yeah, that's really pretty pretty expected uh it is in 18 percent of decks in Mm. modern which is a pretty hefty amount snap or stoneforge uh snapcaster okay uh and it usually is about a 3.5 uh copy rate so you're usually getting you know three to four uh copies of it in your deck which does make sense heck yeah um jam it in everything yeah exactly mono black um i don't care burn (laughs) hey bears i put snapcaster in everything (laughs) Anyway, it's like that hot sauce. <laughs> I was trying to think of something. I just couldn't think of anything. It's like that hot sauce. Yep. I put that shit in everything. Stoneforge um, <laughs> is played in 14% of decks, uh, okay. but it is a 3.9 copy rate. So you're actually getting most of the time just straight up four copies. Yeah. Um, which makes sense. Definitely. It's a card that you want to get out it's, early. And it's so, well, that and it's so specific. Like, right. And those kinds of decks. That's kind of the game plan is yeah. to beat face with exactly. with something Stoneforge pulls out or that's exactly like sticks right. on the thing. So that's exactly right. And yeah. so it does make sense. Um I did look around at a few like uh competitive decks, things like that that have been floating around. Okay. A couple of them are running just three. Uh mm-hmm. but that tends to be in like the Bant, like it's being played in Bant spirits and stuff like that, which what? is really interesting. Are you sure about that? Yes. But it makes Curious. sense because Drug Skull Captain give everything hexproof and then be able to Ooh, throw your equipments daddy. on it and stuff. It's actually really sweet. Yeah. Um, but I feel like it's a bit great. of a long shot and it's not the main game plan, obviously, if they're not putting it's play just sets in. Cake, yeah. Right? It's a win more. Um, I'm fine with that, though. Yeah. I mean, it's sweet because normally you're going to get hits in with the captains anyway. Mm-hmm. So, like, why not, you know, pull out a good sword and Dude, slice it up? I'd love to put it on a Geist, man. Yeah. Just put something on a Geist. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Give like, Geist you've a got sword. a lot of hex proof to do it to, to you don't even get away need with there. Captain at that no, point. you don't. You don't. Ugh, um, so, yum. lots of really cool stuff there. Um, but it is. I don't think taking over by any means. So the decks okay. that it's hitting, yeah. uh, we talked about Bant Spirits. Hate Bears was the obvious choice. Everybody knew it was going to get played in Hate Bears, yeah. and it is. Uh, but surprisingly, Hate Bears is not really up in the meta too much. It's yeah. sitting at about the same percentage. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen a number of people playing with Hate Bears just on like Magic Arena videos because of Stoneforge being unbanned, but it's like they're just testing the deck. It's not like, you know what I'm saying? Like they're just hey, we have Stoneforge in it now. Let's try out this deck and we'll record a video. And so it's getting shown a lot on YouTube, but the stats mm-hmm. are not showing that it's actually going up too much. On Magic Online? On Magic Online. Yeah. Um, so it's 
interesting. I kind of uh-huh. thought it would push that a little bit further. I Hay Bears still suffers from the Hay Bears problem mm. where its win con is a little bit. I think there's two problems, really. It's win con isn't necessarily clear cut yeah. always. Um, that's not always true, but yeah. uh, and it, <clears throat> it you also are required to find your specific guys yeah. to start hating. And sometimes against certain decks, your some creatures won't matter. Yeah. Like Thalia against a human's deck doesn't matter. Yep. So you're exactly right. Um, so th- those are honestly the two big decks. There are a few more that are playing it. Mm-hmm. Like there's, I saw some Eldrazi decks that were playing it, which I think was interesting. Hmm. Um, you kind of just get to play it in Eldrazi. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, you have so much mana in Eldrazi Tron right. stuff. It's like freebie at that point. Yeah, you might as well um, put a sword on a freaking yeah reality smasher. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> um, collected company decks are kind of playing yeah. the. I mean, obviously they're gonna play it, but yeah. um, <clears throat> it's uh. I kind of thought Coco was not dead by any means, but it's oh. still getting a good bit of play. Yeah. Um, I, Aether Vial tends to be like where people lean because it's sort of like it, it. Not that you have to choose, but I feel like a lot of people were choosing either Aether Vial or Coco. Yeah. Um, and people tend to lean, it seems at least, towards Aether Vial. You get a little more control. You get a little more control. It's hard to whiff an Aether Vial. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. And it, I mean, it, it just seems really good. It's uncounterable. Uh, that's right. always good. Kind of so. <laughs> nice. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. Uh, yeah. There's just some really cool stuff with that. But regardless, it is getting played, but it's not getting overplayed, I don't think. Okay. Uh, it's being stuffed into a lot of decks, and some of them, I think, will pan out to be good choices, and some sure. of them not. Um, but it's not taking over. Uh, it did It did spawn the Esper Callblade deck, as everybody expected. Yeah. Uh, but... Again, that deck isn't taking over the meta by any means. It is getting played, and it is, I think, a fairly competitive deck. But Modern's a little bit different than Definitely. it was when this was preemptively banned. You know what I mean? So it's For a little sure. bit of a different world now. I don't think it will ever take over. I think we're at its peak, potentially now, okay. uh, where it's just unbanned. People are playing it everywhere they can. Eventually, we'll find that it's not quite so good in certain decks, and so it's going to get phased out. Um there will still be a number of Stoneforge Mystics out there. There's no doubt about it because it is a very good card. Sure. Uh, but I don't think it's, you know, the the monster of modern that everybody thought it might be. Um, no, that's fair. <clears throat> I mean, at the end of the day, it does. It requires a lot if it were to take over a game. Yeah. In that, no matter what it fetches, you still have a few combats before you. Yeah. You know, before oh, you yeah. win the game. Um, and it does that one thing and that's it. Yep. You know, it's not a it's not a lock. It's not. Well, and the other thing too, we just have a lot better answers right now, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. For stone forges, like yes. fatal push was a mainstay in a lot of decks, yeah. and that just deals with it easily without the removal yeah. trigger. It deals um, with, I think, pr- <clears throat> like realistically, any of the problems stone forge makes. Yeah. Like any creature that is fast enough to warrant stone forge slapping something on, you fatal push it exactly. Um, Colagon's command is like at its best right now because not only does sure. it deal with the stone forge it can also deal with the artifact deal with the artifact yeah. um and so Colagon's command is great we are seeing a slight uptick in jund right now which makes a lot of sense sure. um jund just seems to be at a really really good place in the meta um, the deck that never dies i'm so stoked to have jund back as like a mainstay like a tier one deck i love hey. jund it's just value after value one of my favorite decks value so. city baby it's great come get these damaged couches <laughs> <laughs> you ever passed one of those warehouses <laughs> yes it's like damaged in transit <laughs> yeah seven hundred dollars off here's yeah. a couch for like ten dollars and a <laughs> coke <laughs> the coke sold <laughs> yeah i love it it's fine if you got snacks thanks <laughs> um yes so uh i think it's coming into a meta that was kind of set up to beat it if that makes sense we just have a lot of answers sure um and yeah. so all of that is leading to a world where stoneforge is going to get played but mm-hmm. it's not going to be a takeover thing sure. um it does very well because it is fast mm-hmm. uh it deals very well against a lot of like not that we're seeing them super prominently but a lot of the slower combat combo decks um it does pretty well against because it's just sure they don't have anything to deal with it and if you get a few punches in with it it's like all right yeah. you're done yeah like um, mind and body after yeah. a few procs yeah. like hurts a lot it does hurt um and like feast and famine just lets you double all your mana basically every yes. turn like it's just crazy good stuff yeah. so 
Um, it's very high ceiling. Um, it is, but it's, it's, it's a, a lot of setup. It's a variance card, though. Like, yeah. In that if they have an answer, well, yeah, it doesn't do anything. No, it doesn't. And that's the problem is that there are just way too many answers. So, um, yes, we are seeing it played a good bit, but that's about it. Uh, yeah. I do want to mention... <laughs> The card in the most per- the creature with the most percentage no, of decks right now, oh baby, is a uh, collector. Oof, <laughs> who saw that shit coming? <laughs> I love that. I think that's so funny. It's in twenty one percent of decks, which beats Snapcaster Mage. <laughs> that's so stupid. Yep. Um, other yeah. cards actually uh, from Modern Horizons Plague Engineer is at seventeen percent of decks. Plague Engineer. Um, yeah, it gives minus one, minus one to all creatures of a yeah. particular type, but it also has death touch. Um, Jund yeah. is loving it uh, against, I mean, a lot of options. Any creature deck, it's going to be great against. Humans, mm. it's amazing. Um, any, like, token deck, it yeah. just kind of kills them. <laughs> so, <It's> like... Sh- <laughs> sh- 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 yeah. Tokens. Go to tokens. sleep. Go to sleep. Go, go to sleep. <laughs> um, <laughs> the grown-ups are playing. <laughs> uh so yeah interesting modern horizons is making waves uh urza is the number I t- six i creature. knew it would i know it would yeah people said it was a fruit fruit pretty set bells and whistles Dude, without yeah, any value sweet um i'm telling you giver of runes is actually up there too there's like f- one wait, wait, wait one two three Four cards from modern horizons in the top 10 creatures in modern right now i'm trying to tell y'all yeah that's it oh okay <laughs> i'm trying to tell you <laughs> oh i love it um so yeah uh interesting that we're seeing some changes collect your oof though i love that i just imagine him he's going just around a silly like looking little guy he's scooping up just awkward moments you know <laughs> every time someone you know enjoy your movie you too <laughs> oof <laughs> and there Dude, and there he is this is how we get into the meme game on instagram we're just gonna oof. make collector oof me- me- memes. Wow, memes, I'm, memes. <laughs> oof memes. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm down. Uh, I'm super in for that. Every time you call your teacher mom, collector oof. <laughs> Why not? I love it. Uh, anyway, that's kind of it. Uh, we just wanted to talk a little bit about Stoneforge, and that yeah. was, I mean, not a whole lot going on. I just wanted to no. mention that to everybody. Yeah, enjoy I'll... that info. Nibble Calm on it down. a little. Sell them while you can. Anyway, we've got Cracker Packs. Whoop! Uh, sponsored by Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. Uh, Do we yes. have gold cards? Oh, um, I want that king. That king what done He's didn't disappear. He's the main set. He's a buy a box promo. I want that, uh, that fairy king. <laughs> the one that done disappeared the other king. That's what I said. Okay. Kevin. Yeah. That one. What I are you want... talking about? <laughs> what? I want... Um, they can't see my face. I'm acting. I want the magic mirror, the blue artifact. Huh? That's gross. Because that seems good. Uh, well, I didn't get it. Um, I did get a foil premium card, which is pretty sweet. I can't open my pack. <laughs> <laughs> These are sponsored by Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles, by the way. Uh, they gave link... me a tricky pack. They got scissors. Um... The uh, their Facebook group is linked in the description. Please, please God, go check them sweet. out. They are awesome. Um, that was embarrassingly tricky. Yeah, it was a little rough. What's your rare? Ah. Hushbringer. Oh, not Hushbringer. a bad rare. Um, yeah, I mean, not good for limited by any means. Real, not good for limited. Well, I got Black Lance Paragon, which I think is probably a good pick. It's not amazing, but it's fine. I got a few other good cards, but I think that's probably the pick. I don't love it. I feel like it's mostly just like a removal spell. Yeah. You like flash it out and kill something, which is cool. But, you know. Um, I was lucky. I got one of the flagship uncommons in the set. Oh, uh, nice. I got Wondermare. Uh, so that's <laughs> your uh, white green adventures deck. Yep. So that's They're, pretty. They really push. Uh, in drafting, I'm noticing that it's very, very easy to get a very large number of adventures if you want them. Yeah, um, and in draft, they kind of really shine. Um, oh God, why yeah. do these cards feel so weird? Because they're a different printer. That's right. We talked about that. Remember the things that we talk about. They are slippery. That's I just want you to know what that. She said, I don't... <laughs> 
That was not a good one, but... <laughs> no, but they're slippery. Yeah. Yeah, they do feel different, for sure. Because I know you can't see the face Will's making right now, but it's a good one. <laughs> they're so moist. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. Uh, anyway, is there anything else you want to talk about? Um, Thank you to Grand Slam, by the way. Yeah. Do Eldrain's really, really good. Y'all. Yeah, I like it. It's really fun. It's a fun set. It's a good set. It's a solid yeah. set. It's a really it cool is. set. Um, Let's get that damn Field of the Deads out so we can play with some cards in standard, please. <laughs> That'd be cool. I would like that. Um, what's a card do you really want to play with? What's a deck you really want to make mm. in standard? Um, So I think I there's... <laughs> I, this is going to sound a little crazy for Constructed, but I think there's a really good uh, Rakdos option in standard right now. Really? Mm -hmm. Black, red. Yep. Knights? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, knights, um, because you get, really, it's because of uh, two cards in particular. The knight that is a kill spell is a murder. Um, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Dude, good. that guy is ridiculous. Knight of the Ebon Legion, um, and then there's another black knight with flying that I can't remember the name of right now, because okay. I'm, I'm deprived of sleep. Oh, well, that happens. They're sick in the house of me, so... The, I like it. The tiny human is is ill, and she is uh -huh. not happy about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means none of us are. Anyway, I don't have a baby yet, so. Ooh, buddy, let me tell you, little baby. You want to borrow one? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> what is that fucking night? <laughs> uh, while you're looking through this, um, the deck I want to make is actually a mill deck. So. And I saw a list for limited. a mill deck, and I was really stoked about uh, it. Limited. Sorry, it's Order of Midnight. Um, Order of Midnight's a solid card, is what I was thinking. Yep. Um, yep. I, I could see a, a Rakdos Knights deck. There's a lot of good options for Knights right now, though. So Maybe it's more of a Mardu thing. Yeah, um, they could get Mardu for sure. Well, so you get that legendary artifact as kind of an engine right and i think right? that's such a good card it's hard not to play but it. like it yes if you want like the knights to be the more powerful thing i just think you have more utility in black with knights yeah. now yeah, yeah. um <clears throat> and then just if you're going black creatures i think red's a good compliment because it, they're also like beat face and damaging. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, not that white isn't to be fair like you get a lot of the you know aristocrat garbage yeah, stuff of course so i don't know i think you can go a few ways with that but yeah you know um what were you saying mill oh yeah the, the mill deck in limited is actually really powerful it's super they good pushed yeah. it hard. they did push it i'm Dude, so stoked that they did there's um oh gosh there's a way i forget what it is there's a way for some you can mill your opponent for eight cards in standard right now with just two cards um yeah you can there's the little zero four uh wall that mills for it's not a wall sorry it's a yeah it's creature just like defender. a creature yeah, yeah uh but then there's another card i'm pretty sure it also mills for no it like it triggers adventures twice or something I for, i'm forgetting oh, what it is oh, um i know what you're talking about yeah yeah um it might not be triggers adventures <clears throat> twice but i know what cards you're talking no it does it triggers uh it does trigger adventure stories. I know it? the card you're talking about. I can't I'm think of the name of it because it's new, but yeah, um, there is something that does that. So you can, I guess, mill eight off you of can one mill card. It, which it, in a 40 card. Oh, I know. That's pretty sick. And that um, little 04 did the common. Yeah. And it stalls super well um, yeah. once you get it out on the field. So, But there is also, mm -hmm. I did mm -hmm. see a constructed list um, that I kind of want to play around with. And it uses, like, I, I'm interested to see if Mill's going to, like, have any legs outside of standard i don't think it will okay but because of the gargoyle that is a it really gets a really card, good beater um not that we didn't i mean we had jace's phantasm right and like that yeah. card is good out I've, i'm talking outside of standard obviously but um you know a five five flyer for one basically is pretty sweet um sure. but to give you the second option of like a really good just early game two drop beater yeah is pretty sweet and like I'm in for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, um, yeah. And it's easy to trigger, especially with like uh, fetch lands and stuff like that. It's really easy to get to the threshold. Seven, um, right? Yeah, I believe it's seven. Uh, oh, so yeah. I don't know. I, I just, I think it's an interesting card. I love that Mill. Curious. Um, and so I kind of want to see where it goes. Hmm. Dies to Fatal Push. It does die to push. Uh, so does the Phantasm. Yeah. 
um which is ha- well not all the reason but it's part of the reason um mill isn't very good along with a lot of other reasons if i'm gonna be honest yeah you have to be real quick <laughs> yep um but there are options like with ashiok now for instance okay um, yeah you can like fair. not only shut down searching but also exile graveyards yeah uh so you're shutting off like death shadow for instance have Gurmag angler a lot of the mm-hmm. time um anything that's dealing with graveyard stuff you can kind of shut down based on that that's true um that's true but again now you're relying on like multiple cards to to do one thing you know what i mean like shut down stuff or you just play ley lines i guess i don't know there's options but um the I the think... trick is to like exile the graveyard as easily as possible sure and as repeatedly I mean, yeah. as possible right um but there are ways to do it maybe we maybe we Look, give it a it's, shot here it's it's always had its tools right yeah it's, it's just, just never really performed yeah i mean that's half of it yeah i don't know i think that's the all of it that's the all I'm of it to be honest it's just that's not the damned all of it that's the that's the get dang all of it <laughs> isn't it right there that's the that's the whole thing <laughs> wow all Somebody right. uh, sent us a message by the by the way on uh-huh. uh, Patreon. I believe his name was Devin, uh, one of our patrons. Thank you, Devin. By Devin? the way, Devin. Devin. It was. Is he the fair? <laughs> Proceed. Anyway, uh, <laughs> damn it. Um, he uh, he sent us a message the other day on Patreon, uh-huh. and he was just saying like, "Hey, uh, because of like yes. your podcast yep. and stuff like that, I was able to reconnect." with magic which helped me reconnect with other friends and stuff like that i just wanted to give him a shout out because that was a really nice thing to for for him to say he didn't have to message us and say that and i really appreciate it that's so sweet um i responded to him and just told him thank you and we're certainly happy to do our part but god dang it um, Devin, you're making the old man cry (laughs) (laughs) looks like a storm's a going jesus I was just waiting for the opportunity to say that. Um, no, but for uh, real, that is very nice. <laughs> oh, God. It is a very nice comment, Devin, so thank you. It is. Um, uh, we appreciate that. We just enjoy talking about I mean, that's kind of how we set off. That's, that was the star we were navigating with, right? Was yeah. Was to help people enjoy magic and, I mean, you know? We did it twofold. One, because selfishly, we just enjoy doing this and we like the game. That's true. I mean, that's the reality of it. If yeah. we didn't enjoy this, we wouldn't do it. That's, that's damn right. I mean, yeah, it would be a struggle if no, we didn't yeah, enjoy this. 100%. Um, so genuinely, we just do it for us. That's cool. Uh, in a lot of ways. So yeah. we'll be very candid in that. But also, um, the goal kind of pushing this to out to other people was certainly to, to hopefully bring new people into the game and bring yeah. them back into the game or just help you enjoy it a little more. Yeah. Um, give you a little more info than you might not have had otherwise or yeah. something not that we're very informative a lot of the time we just fuck around but yeah. both yeah both. well to devon uh welcome back sir. yeah i hope you enjoy yeah. um but yeah i don't think there's anything else we have to talk about i think that's I kind think of it so either yeah guys thank you so much for listening we, this was actually kind of a packed episode of inf- weird info jam-packed it's like a fucking lunchable <laughs> i just want a lunchable now damn it i just i said it's like a fucking lunchable and just looked at kevin and nodded like come on that was so give good. it to me i want a lunchable because <coughs> i'm gonna go buy a lunchable at the harry teat no he's not which right. is a harris teeter for the record um <laughs> all right we're gonna get out of here thanks so much for watching guys my name is Kim. My name's Will. And this has been It Resolves. Don't you dare say Harry Teat in front of me again. <laughs> Ever. For any reason. That damned Harry Teat. There he goes.